Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Yukon Bob Sidhu channel. Northbound on the highway out of Toronto again this morning. Uh, everything is northbound for me. The only time I go south actually is when I'm heading down to Lake Ontario. Other than that, everything is away from the city as you might expect and heading up towards the north, which is where I'm going again today. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We've had uh, a lot of trouble in the planning over the last gee, a week, 10 days, trying to get out further and longer rides and onto some of the bigger bodies of water. The wind has just not been cooperating with us uh, very much this summer. For those kind of trips, you need a couple of days. We just haven't got a couple of days in a row where the, the wind conditions have been right. So it means that uh, we've been planning some shorter, closer trips, and that's what we're going to do today. Going up to an area I haven't been to before. Well, I've been to the region, but the lake we're going to is this thing called Six Mile Lake. And I haven't been on that lake, and it's right up in the Georgian Bay area. So the plan is, I think if it all works out today, because it's not such a big body of water, we're going to ride this lake, new lake for us, called Six Mile Lake, ride that in the morning, and then pull the machines back out and head over to Georgian Bay, into cottage country area of Georgian Bay, put the machines back in the water there, and then ride for the afternoon on Georgian Bay if the winds uh, continue to cooperate. That's the plan for today. We'll see you up at Six Mile Lake in, uh, in just a bit. Okay, we have made it to what is called Six Mile Lake. So it's the first time here, I think, for most of us. Certainly the first time here for me and I think for most of us in the riding group. So we'll have a look at what this thing looks like. I see some other guys have already shown up. There's quite a few sea dews here already. Don't see our team leaders here, but uh, I'm sure they'll be here in just a few minutes from now. Let's have a quick look at the launch while we're here and just see what the heck that thing looks like because it's uh, a new launch to a lot of us. I see some of the other guys' sea dues are already in the water, so they're here already and set up. Looks like it's a gravel launch. Yeah. Bit of a dock area there than the lakes out there. So it's not that big a lake. If it's, if it's actually six miles long, that's not that big a lake. But this is, I think, a public launch. So there's no cost to launch here. It's free to launch and park. In the afternoon, if we go to the other side, it'll be about a $30 fee to launch uh, there. But right here, I think it's free. So let's get stuff unhooked here. That's Scott and his brand new Yamaha. Let's get the cover off, get some cameras mounted, and we'll get things start, start to get things set up. Okay, let's get this cover off. Okay, I think we've pretty much got everything loaded on the sea -Doo. Got the cameras set up onto the sea -Doo. Got the iPhone on there. The gear is in here. The ropes are off, life jacket's on. I think it's time to back it in the water and see how that goes. Of parking all around over here. Don't want to drop those keys. Put those keys away right now before I drop them in the lake. Okay. Well, there seems to be a big dispute among some of the guys here as to whether or not we have actually been on this lake before. Doug, who's uh, not ridden with us in a couple of years, is up. He says we've been on this lake before. I don't, I've never been on this lake. Now, maybe some of the other guys have been on this lake, but uh, they say they haven't. Doug says they have, so maybe they'll remember it once we get out there a little bit. But for me, this is a new lake, Six Mile Lake. Nothing looks familiar, Greg? Nothing. And Doug, you say he's been here. Hey, 
Nice, beautiful morning. Uh, we're expecting no wind today, really. It's going to be fairly calm. The only day of the week I think it's going to be calm this week is today, so good thing that we're out. Temperature hitting about 22, 23. Got a little light jacket on just uh, for the morning. If it gets a little warm, I'll pull that off. But i got to say, I'm kind of impressed with the little marina here and the launch site. It's kind of nice. Opens up into this bigger bay right in through here. But it is a small body of water. Uh, if it's only six miles long, it's not going to take long to see this entire lake. But the plan is see this lake in the morning, then maybe pull out around lunchtime, drop into Georgian Bay, which is just 10 minutes away on the other side of the highway, drop into Georgian Bay and then uh, explore the south end of Georgian Bay in the afternoon if, uh, if things go the way we're thinking about them right now. A few years ago, they, they made a whole pile of these things and then they auctioned them all off. And they're, they're, they're moose. And a lot of people bought them. There's all different sizes and shapes. And then people bought them and put them on their properties. There's one of them there. That's kind of like an American one. It's red, white, and blue. Or more red and white, I guess. Or blue and, blue and red. All right, I think we're just waiting for Andrew. He was the last one here today, which is a little unusual. He's usually the first guy here. But he's still just getting his stuff in the water, parking his vehicle. There's a little plane I see over here. Let's go over and have a look at it while we're waiting. Wow. You know, I think that's uh, uh, no, not a piper. What do they call it? Uh, that really small little plane. Uh, uh, ah, I've lost the name right now. Uh, I had a, a cub. Yeah, a cub. That's what a super cub. Yeah, that's a super cub with a little four cylinder. Is it a two cylinder? No, four cylinder engine. That's a cute little plane. Economical to fly, really short takeoff and landing. It's on floats, just a small set of floats. Keeps it right here at his dock. That's a beautiful little plane, I like that. Nice to have your own plane at the lake. Especially when it's on floats like that. I mean, you just touch down on the lake and then you can take it right up to your dock. Perfect. Quite a few weeds along the shoreline. Okay, there they go. It's going to take long to explore this entire lake. That's a beautiful cottage up on the hill there. That one looks pretty new. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And look at the little uh, sitting area they've got down by the water. Beautiful. Nicely decorated. There's just all these little arms and bays that come off this lake. It's a little confusing when you're first looking at it on the map, just because there's all these little, little arms coming off the main body of water.
get in behind the Yamaha spray. I went out yesterday and I bought a really long pair of needle nose pliers. And you know what? I forgot to put them in the sea today, so I have them with me in case I get weed stuck up in the grate and can't reach them with my hand and have to use those long needle nose or a rope stuck up in there or something like that. But then I didn't bring the needle nose pliers along on the sea I left them on the garage and the workbench, so not quite organized yet. I'll have to get those into the sea and just leave them in the bucket up front so they're always just kind of there in case you need them someday. Hey, there's one of those unicorn things. That's enormous. Look at the size of that. Nice thing about this lake is that, uh, well, it's not that big a lake, and there's quite a few cottages on it. There are areas like that, and all through this whole bay here, where there's just no cottages. It's just wilderness. Oh, we got a kayaker, canoeer. Let's go wide. I don't think this is a very deep lake though. I think it's fairly shallow. I haven't checked the depth, but uh, it's not that wide. It's all just these narrow passages, so probably not very deep. Okay, it says dam ahead, keep out. And they've got a bit of a rope or wire across there. I wonder if there's a bit of a drop there. Yeah, a little bit, not much. Yeah, there's a bit of a river down on that other side down there. You can make that out or not. Drops a few feet and then runs down into that little bit of a river. It'd be kind of fun to run down that little river a bit though if you could get across there. New addition to the sea -Doo. Just bought this at a little uh, outdoor hardware shop. Little mirror I put on right there so I can tilt it back and get a kind of a really good kind of uh, view of what's behind me better than the other side mirrors down here. Or I've only got one because I've got the Garmin there. So I just put this little thing on here. I'm just gonna try it out, see how it is. Make sure my hair is nice and neat for the video, stuff like that. And I just stuck it on there. It's just got a little suction cup. Just testing it out. We'll see how it works. Six bucks, seven bucks, something like that. one for sale. I don't see a ton of properties for sale. Clark Muskoka team. That's a nice place. Probably three million. got a glass window in it at one end so you can just look right out onto the lake. You can climb down the stairs, jump in the water, cool down, back into the sauna. That's kind of neat. Is that your sauna? Yes. Is that your sauna? Yes. Nice. I like it. Come out right down in the water, back up in. Absolutely. Fantastic. Whoa. Oh, it looks like we got a little bit of a, a river coming in here. There's a bit of a flow here.
Okay, so we're back at the dock where we started from. We've done Six Mile Lake and we did that in about uh, two and a half hours, roughly. So we're gonna pull out of here now, put the trailers back in the water, load the sea dews. It's about 10, 15 minutes across to the other side, over to Georgian Bay, the big body of water, put in at Georgian Bay, somewhere right around Honey Harbor, and then uh, go out and spend the next three, four, five hours uh, on Georgian Bay. And I think we'll have lunch over there as well. There's a little place over there called the Delawana Inn. I always like that name, the Delawana Inn. I think we might have lunch there. Are you hungry, Greg? I am, Bob, I am very hungry. You're ready for a meal? Six Mile Lake took its toll on Greg. Look how Scott parked, left the trailer right out in the yard. Everybody else backed the trailer in. Uh, he didn't really have room to back his in there though. Yeah, there's not much room there. Oh. Okay, I'll get lined up so that we can do this quickly. I'll be number three, I'll just get things backed around and get it turned around. Okay, so that's the first ride on Six Mile Lake. All the machines are pulled out and we're gonna head over now to Georgian Bay in the Honey Harbor area and do a second ride on Georgian Bay for the afternoon. Clear. This is a busy, busy harbor. It's one of the main access points on the southern part of Georgian Bay to get out onto the water, Honey Harbor. You can just see by the marina here, look at all the number of boats that are in here. It is busy, and thus parking is a little ways away. Busy spot. This GoPro is really starting to tick me off today. This is the GoPro Hero 11. It's the third time in the last three hours that it's just frozen where I can't power it off, power it on, have to take it out of the case that it's in, pull it all the way out of the case, disconnect the microphone thing off the top, open up the thing, pull the battery out, put the battery back in, put it back in the case, then put the selfie stick back on the bottom, put the battery back on, just because it freezes up. Three times it's done that today. It's not that hot. I mean, it's, it's not like it's overheating that I can tell. I mean, it, sh it should be. It doesn't feel warm. Ah, I'm getting a little tired of that with GoPro. Always freezing up and having to take it all apart just to pull the battery to start all over again. Okay, let me get out of this little harbor here and see if I can find out where the guys are. Oh, there they are over there. Okay, I see them. So we just got on the water, now we'll pull off again, tie up to our wharf, go in and have lunch. So it was right about here I discovered I had a big problem. Uh, the microphone that I was using, the external microphone on the GoPro Hero 11, which is what I film most stuff on, including all of this video, lost all the audio. So we had lunch here. I can just tell you what we had. We had fish and chips. I had a couple of pieces of cod. They serve a lot of fish and chips here. Pickerel, haddock, halibut, uh, scallops, that sort of stuff. Really good food. But the problem was is I just lost all of the audio from here going forward. So the whole rest of the trip out onto Georgian Bay, all of that area that we were exploring, all the little islands around the southern tip of uh, Georgian Bay out of Honey Harbor, I don't have any audio from the main camera that I used to shoot the audio because the external microphones were dead. The only audio that I had left was from the cameras that didn't have the external microphone, and I don't use those for the majority of clips, they're, they're mostly just for here and there. So there's a little bit of audio, native audio, but the rest is all gone. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of video here. I'm going to cut some video together, put some music together for this, show you what some of this area looked like, and then I've got a little bit of an audio from a river that I took a little run up uh, with my sea and I'll show you that in just a bit.
water was just so beautiful, so warm, that I had to jump off the sea dew and actually get into the water. Not very deep here, only four or five feet deep, but it's a great way to cool off, get the head underneath the water, just kind of cool down a little bit from all the, the summertime heat, get this perspective of the sea dew from the water. And then, of course, uh, you know, get back out, use that ladder in the back. It only took me about three attempts to get back out of the water, but uh, back onto the sea dew, and it just felt so much better after that being uh, cooled down a bit. At the end of one of the bays in, in Georgian Bay, there's a, a river. I think it's actually called the uh, the Gibson River. And we came up to the to the mouth of this river, flowing into Georgian Bay. And I decided I was going to run it. Here's the audio from the camera that had had audio on the front. So it was actually pretty easy to run up that little river. I just let the sea dew pull itself up. I didn't have full throttle on. I just let it kind of pull itself up and uh, watch for rocks along the way. Well, I got a dead microphone, so I'm having to use the microphone on the camera right now. I think what we're gonna do is wrap it up right about here. We're starting to backtrack our way back now on the same track we came up on. So going by some of the same countryside we came up just a little while ago. The audio I know is not as good here without the microphone, but that's all I've got right now. So I'm gonna wrap this one up here and say thanks very much for coming along on this Yukon Bob video out on Georgian Bay and on Six Mile Lake. Kind of something a little bit different today. Two different lakes pulled into one this morning and then Georgian Bay later this afternoon. Thanks for coming along on the video, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Till then, stay safe on the water and bye for now.